Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Paul Innocent Channel and what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. Been a good week. Had a rescreen test for the same film that I went for initially last week. You remember the Jack O'Connell, Jessica Chastain thing? It went extremely well, but we shall see. Now, this could be weeks and weeks and weeks of testing. Who knows? Anyway, I can't kick from my head this thought I had this morning about people keep telling me only the wealthy can afford to go to drama school these days. I thought, well, that really isn't an excuse for working class people not to still enter the profession. I know so many actors who didn't train who are at the top of their tree. I could mention names, but it wouldn't be right. Anyway, uh, the onus, as far as I'm concerned, should be on the, the casting directors and the producers and the like to extend the casting hours from the standard 10 till 4 by having an hour's break between 4 and 5 and then adding an additional three hours casting time on between five and eight in the evening. Hence, that allows the working class man, the man who works from nine to five, to go along and audition for shows and still be taken seriously and have a good chance of getting a major break on stage leading to lots of television and film. Wouldn't that be wonderful? My God! Let's get this straight. You don't need to go to drama school to become a successful actor. It's just a stepping stone. Something on your CV. Nothing more. All right? Drama school simply enhances what you've got and turns it into a, a marketable commodity, as I've previously mentioned. So get rid of that notion that money is an obstacle, if you don't have it, to actually becoming a successful actor. It isn't. All oh, right. Now I've had my rent. Uh, got an audition coming up on Friday next week for something. It's a stage play. Look forward to doing that. Don't know much about it, apart from it's a two-hour long thing, newly written by a new writer. Looking forward to going along and meeting up with the director and all the people that are involved with putting this thing together. Anyway, I do hope everybody's had a good week. That's it for this week's episode of the Paul Innocent Channel and what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. Bye-bye.